Do you like cats? No, but I like sausages and ice cream. Oh, hi. I'm Dr. Hans Seuss, and I'm here to answer your questions about dinosaurs, life, and even cats before a new fossil hall opens in June. Okay, let's get this party started. Denise on Instagram asks, Hi, Dr. Seuss, how are you? I'm fine, thank you for asking. Here's my question. Do you think the Loch Ness Monster could be a dinosaur? A lot of people think that the Loch Ness Monster is an extinct marine reptile called a plesiosaur. Other people think it's just a bunch of otters or seals swimming in the lake. My hypothesis is that it's only in the imagination of whiskey adult Scotsmen and tourists. And I should point out that I love whiskey, especially single malts. The next question comes to us from Slash. Wait, THE Slash? How confident are we that the recent discovery of fossil animals, plants and debris, supposedly deposited immediately after the Yucatan blast, is reasonably accurate? That is a really complicated question. Well, the Yucatan blast was when a huge object from outer space hit the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico 66 million years ago, and most scientists think that this caused the extinction of most of the dinosaurs. At the impact itself, there would have been an enormous earthquake, and that might sort of account for this peculiar deposit. So it's a really interesting discovery. Long story short, we are not sure. Ellie on Instagram asks, why do cats bring us dead things? Cats have a low opinion of us. They think we are really poor hunters, and just like they teach their kittens to hunt prey by bringing them dead animals, they do this for us. Have you ever woken up in the morning and had a dead mouse next to you? Well, it was probably your feline companion. And they bring us dead things to basically teach us on how to hunt prey. Lucky for us. Oh, shucks, we are out of time. But keep those questions coming. Post them in the comments below and I'll try to get to them next time.